Hi, this is Mimi, and it's time for what is this bullshit now? So here's some bullshit that we're just having trouble getting our little cat heads around. The Washington Post put several journalists on a project of calling and emailing every member of Congress to ask them if and when they were ever going to say who won the presidential election. And just 25 congressional Republicans acknowledged Joe Biden's 7 million vote win over Trump. 7 million votes. Two Republicans actually consider Trump to be the winner, despite all evidence showing otherwise because they're fucking idiots. And another 222 GOP members of the House, that's most of them, 90%, of all Republicans serving in Congress, will simply not say who won the election. What is that even about? There's got to be some kind of reckoning once Trump is out of the White House for all these people. I don't know what it is, but I hope it hurts them financially and politically because this is so disgusting. Meanwhile, the lame fuck is in Georgia, even while I record this, bearing grievances still a month after the election. What a fucking idiot. Sure, go ahead and talk all your stupid supporters out of voting in the runoff down there. Go ahead, do it. Oh, and Rudy fucking syphilis brain Giuliani and his insane band of I don't even know what those people are continuing their fucking circus in courtrooms with their bullshit air quote evidence Voter fraud bullshit. I, I don't even know what it is. It's time to put those people in fucking jail for wasting everyone's time. And finally, some pandemic bullshit. More than 101,000 people were hospitalized on Friday. Breaking records every day. USA. Coronavirus is the number one cause of death in the United States this week, surpassing heart disease. Experts are anticipating that 20,000 people will be dead by the week of Christmas because people could not stay home for Thanksgiving because they're selfish fucks. We are seeing the equivalent of a 9-11 every day. Just one day of those deaths led to a massive reorganization of government. We had TSA, we had changes in the way we fly, and yet here we are, nine months into this pandemic. We're over 200,000 people dead, and we can't even get something as simple as a nationwide mask mandate. This is some kind of bullshit, and it's going to have to change. Mimi out.